Here's how the Eastern Conference playoff bracket would look if the playoffs started today. The Celtics would face the winner of the 7-8 play-in game, either the Heat or the Hawks, in the first round. The second round, if they won, would put them up against either the 76ers or the Nets. For more on how things might shake out, let's bring in our buddy, Tommy Giles, at the WinBet Sportsbook at Encore Boston Harbor. And Tommy Giles, what do you got for me? What's going on, Chris? Yeah, uh, how are you feeling after uh, last night? Okay, Tommy Giles, it's all about Celtics post-up. I am chugging shot to green Kool-Aid in every direction. I've come down from the ledge a little bit. I am ready to roadmap the Celtics to the NBA Finals in Banner 18. You lead the way. Okay. All right. Well, I will say this. There's still a path for the one seed. That, that's still available out there mm. if you want to bet on it. But uh, they're like plus 550 to be the one seed, and the Bucks are minus 1,100. And there's good reason for that, as we know. But let's talk about the seeds as they relate to the Bucks for winning the Eastern Conference. Right now, you get Milwaukee, who's slightly ahead of the Celtics uh, as far as the NBA championship goes. It's, again, Milwaukee just slightly ahead of the Celtics. This is kind of where things have stood, though, for the past week or so. So the market really hasn't changed that much since last night's game, Chris. So it doesn't seem like the market's overreacting in that regard, but uh, do you still think the Celtics should be the favorites, or do you think Milwaukee rightfully is the favorite to uh, win the Eastern Conference in the NBA title? So, unlike me, the markets are not overreacting. I get to lose my mind after bad losses and the, the loss of the potential one seed, but as you said, the path to the one seed is still technically there, and we'll see how that exactly plays out. I do think, when I step back, and as we said in the Forsberg Four, there are good things that have happened recently that we need to accentuate and embrace and do show me that the Celtics can be a championship level team. If everybody, you know, wants to overreact like me and write them off, then so be it. I still think the Celtics are in a very good spot and I still think it's coming down to Celtics and Bucks. So maybe maybe the bookmakers are just more level headed than I am. Okay, well, let, let's actually look at a couple of different markets, all right? So it, there's other markets out there, like which state is going to uh, have the NBA champion in it, all right? So obviously California, for a single state, has the best odds of plus 425, and that's because they obviously have the Warriors, the Kings, the Lakers, the Clippers. Then you've got New York at plus 5,000, Texas plus 5,500, and uh, Florida plus 8,000. Obviously the field is the heavy favorite in this one at minus 550. The field would be any other state state essentially outside of California and the other ones that are long shots. Uh, do you see the NBA champion coming out of Cali or mm. Forsberg? Would you kind of lay it with the field in that situation? As much as I would like to be going, going back to back to Cali, Cali, I think the NBA champion is probably more likely to come out of Massachusetts or Wisconsin or Arizona. So I'd probably lean towards the field. The fact that California has that great of odds is crazy to me because I get it, multiple teams and all that, but let's face it, unless it's Golden State that is making the surge and taking over and winning a championship, I'm not sure who else we're supposed to be betting on. It is definitely not going to be the Lakers who will be lucky to make it out of the play-in round. It probably will not be the Kings who will break the longest drought in North American history, but I don't know how far they're going to get in the playoffs. And so, I just think it's more likely to be the field in that situation. And, and let's face it, I'm just disappointed Massachusetts isn't a singular entity on that list because the Celtics deserve it. Okay, well, let's look at a different category here for another way of uh, betting on the NBA champion. And this question is, will there be a first-time champion? Now, first-time champions would include teams like the Nuggets, the Clippers, the Grizzlies, the Suns, even the Pelicans. But mm. uh, those first four teams I named are actually within the top five in the Western Conference. So they've all got legitimate shots to do it. Now, a first-timer, will there be a first-timer? That is yes, plus 160, no minus 200. Do you think... And I know that the Suns are the favorites in the Western Conference, and then you have the Nuggets who have the best record in the Western Conference. Do you think one of those teams could win it? Obviously, they would have the best chance, along with the Grizzlies. This is interesting to me that that no was minus 200 because, I mean, it makes sense on some surface level, right? Like the Celtics and Bucks are probably your favorites for the NBA championship. They both won it, and so they would not be a first-timer. And yet, because someone has to come out of the West and because it's probably going to be some new blood and whether that's Phoenix or Denver or whatever, I do think uh, there is a chance there. The question to me is just 
how much does the West beat up on itself to get out of there? Like, no team has distinguished itself. While we sit here today, and as much as I lose my mind about the Celtics, Celtics and the Bucks are just on another level. They should take care of business. I'm interested to see, necessarily, if another first-timer can muscle into that conversation. I mean, you keep talking about one of those first-timers coming out of the West. I, I still say don't sleep on the Warriors. You know, watching them come back from a 20-point mm. deficit last night against the Pelicans, they, they, they might still be there in the end. They've had their struggles, but if they can uh, steal a road game or two, which has been hard for them this year, they, they could uh, be uh, left in the NBA championship uh, once again. Presented by Rodenheiser. If you're looking to install AC in your home this summer, Book a free estimate with Rodenheiser Home Services today.